Today, everybody, we are over at Niagara Falls Comic Con, as you can probably tell by the booth. And if you guys want to take a look, we have a lot, a lot of really cool stuff. But I can't show you guys sitting. Let's do a bit of a tour. We've got $10 Funko Pops with some pretty good ones in here, like Modoc. And then over here, we've got the Mystery Banks for 20. They also have stuff inside. So if you do get a ticket, ooh, that could be a good one. If you do get a ticket, though, you can spin the wheel for a bunch of really cool prizes. And then we also have more Mystery Bags. We've got some other figures that I'm just selling that, you know, maybe somebody else would want more for their collection, as well as open sodas for 10 bucks. A really great deal. Like, look, Baxter Stockman, where are you finding him? Oh, and then another thing that we have at the booth here is actually Nate has made some mystery packs. You want to talk about them? I have, I have. They're down there, <laughs> if you can see. So they're going to come in actually a Pokemon mystery tin or mini tin. Nice. And they're going to contain the following. So one booster pack, a textured card, a yellow border trainer gallery card, and a bunch of other cool stuff. First time at the con, too. Indeed it is. Uh, Dad, there's uh, somebody behind you here. Hi, R2. And now before we start the podcast, I wanted to show you guys their grail section where I believe they're selling them just for like, you know, whatever they go for at the moment. I don't exactly know what it is, but some of these are crazy like James Rhodes as well as the Freddy Funko as Will. We also have Mordecai down here and both the Kirk Hammett's. Where's the other one? There it is right there, guys. I mean, come on, pretty crazy stuff here. Okay, so I just wrapped up on the K-Dog and Fish podcast and ran into a fan of the channel. Check this out. And he got me to sign his Supreme hat. Pretty cool. Hi, guys. <laughs> and now I didn't really show off the back table here, but there is some really cool stuff. Also, if you hear the wheel in the background. I think that's someone spinning it right now. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. Let's see what you get. Ooh, $10 pop. Nice. Anything off the far table over there? Okay, now we've got something interesting. The other day I was over at GameStop and they gave me a free Funko Pop. I gotta find it really quickly, but then I told everybody, if you said Midnight Suns when you came to the booth, you could get it for free. So here it is. Take a look at this, guys. In the flesh. A pretty cool pop in my opinion. Do, 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 do. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Thank Sweet. you so much. No problem. And still got the zero dollar sticker on top. I thought it was kind of fun. You know? Yeah, oh yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, have fun All right. with it. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Everybody, we've got another spin going in the video. Let's see what you get. Ooh. Spin again. What do we got? And $10 at the booth. Whatever you want. 10 bucks. Now I gotta show you guys, I signed the first U2s of the con. Take a look at this, the little okay signature on the front. I'm working on it. Now guys, we've got a fan of the channel here and he also has a YouTube channel. You wanna tell everybody what it is? It's KidCooley99. Perfect, go check him out guys. All right, now everybody, we're gonna be doing our first looking around for the day. We're out of the booth and I think the best place to start is mypops.ca. Now Nate, I see you looking at some Attack on Titan over here. I'm eyeballing, I'm eyeballing a couple. Oh, so. Battle Levi's good. Battle Levi, the Bloody Levi is really cool and has like the cloud of dust from like the ocean. That's yeah. pretty neat. I saw him from Fortnite. And if you want to take a look at a bunch of the pops that they have, it just keeps going. There is a lot on this side over here. And then when you come into the middle, guys, take a look at this. It's crazy. And of course, I love to take a look in the Star Wars section because they have a good amount here. And one that stood out to me is this Finn, the old GameStop sticker, him unmasked. And I really do enjoy the Stormtroopers in general. I've been trying to get more of them. And I don't know. I'm going to be digging a lot through here because they have so many pops. And now another section that I have to check is all of the Marvel ones and actually superheroes in general. But maybe Mainly Spider-Man's what I'm looking for. And they have the Scarlet Spider, which is one that I honestly didn't even know existed until a couple days ago. So I think I'm probably gonna have to go for this one today. And then actually above that, I also see the Spider-Girl, actually two versions of Spider-Girl, which look pretty great, but this one, I mean, come on, that looks nice. Oh, and then I didn't even notice, guys, up at the top here, they have some of the comic covers, and one that I've been looking for for a while, and I actually forgot to pick up when we were at Toronto Comic Con, is this bad boy right here, the Brave and the Bold, because look at all the pops on the inside. Yeah, I have to do this one today. Now, everybody, we ran into a claw machine here, and if you look inside, it is full of Funko Pops. I'm really debating on this. Okay, everybody, so it's actually $2 to play. I've got two loonies. We might as well try, and I'm thinking of going for Anakin. I feel like he would be a good one, so let me put the coins in, and uh, we'll see how we do here. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I don't know. This could be awful. We'll see. Okay. And drop. Is that, does that look all right? I think it looks good. Let huh? it stop swinging, though. No. Uh, it's stronger than I thought. We might be back here again later. And now here's something I don't think I've ever seen before. The amount of actual like albums and covers they have. And then the Spider-Man number 300. Hold on, take a look at this one, guys. I mean, come on, that thing's amazing. And then I also noticed over here, they've got like Black Panther, Miles Morales, Shuri, Aquaman. Literally the most I've ever seen at once. Oh, and then right next to that, guys, they've got some of the 25th anniversary pop classic vaults. I do have both of these, but it's still really neat to see in person. And now here is a section that I always like to see, guys. The Five Nights at Freddy's one, where they have a lot of plush as well as figures. 
Wings, and then above that, a good amount of the Pops, and some that I'm missing, like Twisted Wolf, Twisted Bonnie. I also don't have Happy Frog. Pretty needs. oh, and the Blacklight Cupcake here, cool. Also, because I've never heard of this booth before, it's actually called Pop Topic. It's a great one at the con. Now, everybody, we're back at the booth, and I've had a request. Somebody wants me to pick out a mystery bag, and now the question is, what do I go for? Because I'm gonna be honest, there is a lot of them over here, and you don't care which one I pick? No, nope, Okay. whatever you want. Sure. All right, let's go. That one? Mm, hold on. Oh boy. Let's go this one. This one? This okay. one seems pretty good. I'm gonna get two of them. Okay, sounds good. Pick one more. You want me to pick again? Yeah. Okay. Do it again. You know what? I picked this one up. I gotta go for this, this one. one? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Sounds good. What do we got? Hey, Dracula. Oh, That's have? a good one. No What's it gonna be? What? And oh, Ooh, Scarlet, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Hey, two good ones. Yeah. Nice, congrats. Thank you. No problem. Hey. <laughs> and now, everybody, I just found out because we've been working the booth so hard today, it is about to close, and I want to get some K Dog and Fish cans and mystery boxes before it does. Ooh, hoo, 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 we made it. Okay, so they go for $20, guys, and the question is which box do I get? Because I'm thinking of getting one of them today, and then we'll open it up when we get back to the office. But, mm, I don't know, this one here. Yeah, this one's looking pretty good. Now for these ones here, they are $10, and I guess you just reach your arm and whatever we get is what we get. I'm thinking let's do one of them for now. We'll maybe do some more the rest of the weekend. But let's see what we're gonna be getting here. Well, there's a lot of cans in here. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, Ron Swanson. I don't have this one yet. I'll take it. Alrighty, everybody, so we are back from the con. I know I've got to say the booth today went really well, especially for a Friday. Usually I expect this one to be the least busy, but it almost kind of felt like a Sunday or maybe like a pretty early Saturday. Kind of crazy. And if you're somebody that popped by the booth today, thanks so much because there were seriously a lot of you guys. I can't thank you enough. Especially because I do try to price everything very reasonably at Comic-Con, and those mystery bags are probably the best deal you're gonna find. It's one Funko Pop inside, but you can also win some other stuff, like a spin on the wheel, and there's also on the wheel a mystery bag one. So if you're lucky, you can just go back and forth getting mystery wheels and bags. I saw one kid go like three or four times. And I did end up getting some pretty decent stuff, even though I couldn't look around for too long. And I think this is probably the best place to start, the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Walmart exclusive Scarlet Spider. Especially because Walmart in Canada doesn't seem to be getting any of these in, so I figured I might as well go for it. And now, of course, we do have to take this one out of the box because I want to see it a little bit closer up. Ooh, all right, this one's looking good. So I do have the original one that released a long time ago, but I'm loving the shading on the face as well as the way his jacket and shirt is kind of ripped up in the middle. Also, I feel like just in general, Funko did a great job with these Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse pops. I am not sad that I got this. Then the other one that I ended up grabbing, which you guys did see, is the Brave and the bold comic cover. I'm so pumped about this. I also kind of remember something about an NFT releasing for this one or alongside this one, but if it's true, I don't even know where you would get it with it. Like maybe it was on your receipt when you purchased it or I'm just going crazy, but somebody please help me in the comments. But anyways, this is a figure that I definitely want to take the wrap off of because I got to see this a little bit closer up. Oh wow. Yeah, this is amazing. All five of them being really tiny and then Starro in the middle, which is also the first time we've ever got that as a pop. And I also just really enjoy the Justice League of America. America comic cover in the back. It looks really clean and also a perfect thing to pick up over at Comic-Con. And now let's get into what I got over at the K-Dog and Fish booth because I did end up getting the Ron Swanson soda as well as the K-Dog and Fish mystery box, which I cannot wait to crack open. But first, I feel like it's a good idea to do the soda because we did only get one of them and I'll probably buy more tomorrow. I think so. I don't know. It's just so fun to not know which soda you're getting. And let's find out if we got the chase on this one. I can't tell yet. Ooh. It looks pretty normal. Yeah, this seems like the normal Ron Swanson, but the good news is I don't have any Rons in the collection, so this is perfect. And now just to make sure, I might as well check. This is, yes, the normal Ron Swanson limited to one out of 12,500. All right, and now the mystery box. And for this one here, I'm hoping it's something new for the collection. But then again, only for 20 bucks, you can't complain. So let's do it like a mystery box where I don't see them, but then you guys do first. Alrighty, I've got it open, and I'm gonna show you guys this one here. Who is it? Ooh, a Care Bear. And now with this one here, I'm not sure if I have Carolot Bear. This is from the newer wave. I'd have to check, but I don't know if I do. And then for the second one, we have, boom, who is it? Ooh, it is Merida from Brave, which I definitely do not have. And I gotta say, this one has some really great detail, especially because it is based off of the movie and it's not in like the Disney Princesses collection and I'm guessing it's probably because she's Pixar. Maybe that's what it is. You know what? That's honestly something that I've never really known about Merida. Is she a Disney princess? I mean, I think she was in Ralph Breaks the Internet. 
it. I don't know, let me know in the comment section below. And anyways, for 20 bucks, I will definitely take these two some pretty good pops. And well, everybody, that is everything for Niagara Falls Comic Con Day 1. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you can see the rest of the weekend. Because there is definitely gonna be a lot more happening on Saturday and Sunday, and I don't want you guys to miss out on it. But anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow!